Max Ice new car, an RS3 TCR. I've not had a chance to do an intro, but I'll give you a good outro. Here we go. Good to go, mate. So this might be the Enduro car to replace the TT, but so far they're not happy with it. I think the TT's better, I think. Oh, cross one. So, ridiculous. Danny's going to go out in this. Yeah, man. Mend it, you mend it. You've got to adjust the harness as well. Yeah. Just to let you know, Danny, Yeah. the front split is on the two and a half grand. So, I'd like to keep that one in one piece. Is it one piece now? Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that we raced against at Snetterton. Yeah. The actual car. Yeah, yeah. But it's what? Few changes. It's the one I was racing against at Snetterton. Yeah. Into Richie, third and fourth, nose to tail. Daniel Sylvester in the Audi TT really challenging them there. Yes! Got him. Yeah, the one that uh, you were having a good battle with, weren't you? So, is it squiffy though? Looks squiffy from here. It is a little bit, yeah, but not sure how it's running. It's running, yeah. It looks like it needs to just bend that way a little bit. That way. It's a bit close to me, isn't that? But what is? Steering wheel. Everything, yeah. You can lift it up. Uh -huh. Pull that, it's like a normal road one. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. wow. There you go. Touring car spec. That's where you want it. Look at that. What's that? That's not lap timing. That's... That might be illegal. For it's sure. It's a performance box. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
this thing's annoying, obviously it shouldn't be on, I agree, but I was setting temps up and then it kept resetting as if they've got a remote switch. Every time I'm about to drive faster than them, they reset it. Very sweaty in here. Very sweaty in here. Stinks of fuel as well. Probably something through that fuel tank there. What was it like to drive? It's good. <laughs> Feels a lot more pointy than the TT. Yeah. Had some fucking oversteer as well sometimes. Sounds good. A bit sketchy to be honest, but. I think once you're pushing with front wheel drive, it always ends up That worked, that worked on, but it kept resetting every time I went faster than them. Every time I went oh. faster than them, it kept turning off and resetting. <laughs> I think they rebroke on the video. Did they? Yeah. I thought that was easy. Yeah. Scott did it. Corner got it before. Has the corner of this sweater gone? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Money! <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny DC2 and I've trashed a TCR. <laughs> Look how fast it's getting out. <laughs> you can buy it, it's alright. It says to me before I went, it's fucking free. That was pretty good, that. I did actually cover a curve, I know I just said I did, but I did actually, so I'm a little lie. <laughs> Right, what was it like to drive? Yeah, fast, real fast. How's it compared to the TT? It felt a lot more pointy. It felt like there's a lot more weight at the front of it. It's got a lot more aero going on as well, look. You know, look at these, all the adjustments and the big, you know, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff going on. So it felt pretty oversteery, especially on the brakes. It was pretty nervous on the brakes. And one thing to, uh, to point out just while Paul's got in it a sec. Do you think them pedals are in a weird position? Yeah, it's feel very There's a high. massive, you could like, you know, the amount of space between the accelerator and the brake. Yeah. It's, it's pretty, you know, when you're driving, I'm, I was like, a few times, I was like, where's the brake pedal then? The throttle and the brake are like miles apart when you're in the car. Oh, really? It doesn't look like much there, but like, it's enough to get your foot stuck in the middle. Oh, shit. One of the times I went to break and did that, and they <laughs> did that, I was like, ah! <laughs> Send the brake pedal. Yeah. yeah. Need an automatic pedal on it. Yeah. Big wide boy. Big one. So yeah, that was pretty good. So they've got some work to do on it, I think. Um, or maybe, I don't know if it's just alignment. Ryan reckons it's just alignment, but feels a bit nervous on the brake. It also felt very flat in fifth gear. But I don't know if I was just uh, shifting early or not, or what was going on, but yeah, we did all right. I say the uh, the lap timer obviously wasn't there. I don't know if you saw it. I didn't see it, but hey, we're going all right. Obviously, being a racing car, you know, lap timers are just in them, aren't they? Sometimes they must be a tricky one for the track the organisers to to get around, unless they just say no race cars. One of these M2s got black flagged on our session. I wonder what they did. Some naughtiness going on. I thought the black flag might have been for me, but obviously I was well behaved, so definitely not. But yeah, cool car. So how did it compare to the TT, I hear you ask? Well, this was behaving really well at Silverstone until obviously it had the electronic issue. We all thought the gearbox was dead, but yeah, that was an electronic thing, that, and the car was resetting itself, and apparently it was the power steering going off while the wheel was snatching and all that. So obviously very similar, but, but different all the same. The TCR, the, the RS3, is a factory-built race car, whereas this started life there's just a normal road car this one it's not a cup or anything like that it's you know started as a full full uh, road car so you know different um different from from birth you know separated miles different aren't they but same engine gearbox and all that stuff and you know same tire sizes as far as i'm aware and all that jazz and i'm sure the suspension is pretty similar but the way this drove at Silverstone, I would say I'd probably prefer this. This felt a lot more stable and fast. They got rid of the understeer that we had at Snetterton and it just drove really well until it obviously didn't. But it's been going today, they fixed it, it's been going well today. They've done a few sessions in it just to confirm. So the TT is, uh, yeah, I would put it just a bit higher than the RS3 for me. But they've only just got the RS3. You know, obviously left hand drive, I didn't really notice it to be honest. Um, Ryan said to me before I went out, remember, it's left hand drive but you know every now and again when i was driving around i, I reminded myself of it but 
I didn't find myself positioning the car any different, I don't think. Maybe I'll review the footage and think differently. But yeah, obviously very similar cars. The TT probably felt a little bit better on the on the power delivery. Like I say, the RS3 felt really slow in fifth, not slow, but really kind of, I thought it was running out of fuel, but that kind of feeling of, you know, not being maybe as fast as what it should be in fifth gear. But they've only just got the car. They got it on Thursday, I think. They replaced the gearbox on it on Friday, Saturday, and it's here today. We're bank holiday Monday, so they've only had it a couple of days, really, not even had it a week. So thanks to Darkseid for letting me have a go. That might be the next Enduro car at Anglesey. That's where the next Enduro event is. The RS3 might be it, but I think at the minute the TT is winning because, yeah, it's, uh, it's had more development, hasn't it? It feels more like a, a glove. Whereas the RS3 feels like a bit of, I don't know, an oven mitt or something like that. It's, someone else has been in, you know, someone else's car, the RS3, so, you know, everyone's all subjectiveness, isn't it, for the handling, all the roll bar stiffness and the alignment and all that. It's, it's all really subjective. And, you know, I want you all to remember that because a lot of people ask me my alignment specs for stuff and, you know, I'll tell you, but at the end of the day, it might not work for you. All that kind of stuff is subjective. And maybe that's the nervousness that I'm feeling in the RS3. But it was a good drive. So what was it like to drive? Yeah, of course it was good. We were turned into one of them YouTube channels that just says everything's good, isn't it? But, you know, I'm not going to be driving shit cars, am I? No. I wouldn't mind driving this one if you still got a sticker on it. This is cool, isn't it? 135, but with all the uh, 1M bits done to it. E92 M3 diff and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Right, that's it then. Hope you enjoy watching. The RS3 is somewhere. But I'll leave you on the TT.